and click OK. Go to next. And this is where we start the database setup for the BioConnect. If you click the Express Setup, it will automatically install the SQL Server 2008. But I already have my in SQL Server installed, so I'll just go to a custom setup. Yeah, don't don't worry about this, right? It's because I'm recording my screen. And let's go. I I'm gonna put everything as a default. Create a database. Ah, okay. It's because I have already um BioConnect. I I already have a database called a BioConnect. So I'll just go. I don't I don't need to create a new one. I'll just go test. And then it's a connection successfully to BioConnect. So if you don't have any a database called BioConnect, you can create one. If you already do have one, which is not the usual case, you just create test, and I'll just go update it just to make sure that I have the BioConnect database. Go to next, and here uh, you can choose. You can select the access control system that you want to integrate with. I'm going to select Paxton Net 2. Go to next. And this is where you need we need to configure the Paxton login details. Put OEM client. And then save. And settings have been saved successfully. Select next to continue. So it's um the configuration setup looks different per different access control system. If I go back, if I choose another, maybe say for Genetic, I have a different screen here. So it, it really depends on what type of access control system that you're integrating with. Oh, I have to do it again. OEM client client. Then go to save and next and this is where um, the BioConnect will start the synchronization, start their services between the access control system and BioConnect. So I'll just go start. Uh, yeah, don't worry about the Paxton login details. That the login details for the access control system it varies per. It's uh, everywhere they're using different login details, so you don't have to you um, worry about the um, login details for the Paxton. The clients know what are the um, login details that each access control system uses. Oh, right, so I see the system set up successful. Click next to continue. As you can see here, let me drag it down. So you see the service configuration, everything is successful. The service startup successful. ASM synchronization successfully started synchronization process. So all the configuration from one to eight is done. I'll go click next, and then I'll go finish. Then it will launch the BioConnect software. So the installation process is pretty easy, I guess. And here I'm just going to open my PowerPoint slide and explain. 
So this was the, just the main screen that you have just seen. You have the quick enrollment menu where the biometric are captured. So where you can enroll um, fingerprint, face and issue a template on card. You can view all the users that have synchronized from the access control software, from this user management. You can add or edit or delete devices and check their status of the reader and do some firmware upgrades. So this is just a very gener general device management. On the top there, you can also view the system events and user account login activity data from the monitoring tab. And oops, excuse me, on your yep, yep. And that's really about it. Yes. So this is just the main screen for the device management. As I explained before, all the bios, all the devices in BioConnect are connected as a server mode. And BioConnect they use a different server port than what BioStar does. They use 8001. So you can set up the devices as server mode with the server port 8001 and they will automatically be connected to the BioConnect. The, just the unique feature in BioConnect here is yeah, so you can do um, firmware upgrades and check the status the, of the reader whether they are um, connected or whether they are disconnected. If you don't want to use BioStar software, you can also use the BioStar config tool to search for the devices and click them and set them as a server mode. Click the use server and port number 8001 which is the BioConnect software. Just to remember that version 2 devices, by our version 2 devices, the BioStar config tool does not support version 2 devices. So if you are planning to add like for example bio station w, bio L, um, bio entry w2 you have to first connect it first connect them to bio star 2 software and then change it to server mode next is the screenshot for the user management as i explained before all the users are automatically forwarded from the access control side. You can sort and filter them, users check whether it's active or inactive. The synchronization between the access control system and BioConnect is made every five minutes automatically. But if you can't wait, if you can't wait until the synchronization is done, you can simply click the sync button here, hit the sync button to sync it in real time. But it automatically synchronizes from the access control software to BioConnect every five minutes. The root account, the root admin account for BioConnect is EnterTech Bobcat. From the user management, you can assign a users with administrative privileges to enroll fingerprints and log into the system. The root account, EnterTech Bobcat, does not have an ability to enroll fingerprints but only from BioMini, not from the devices. The main reason why they block this is to give a special role to a root admin account and at the same time BioConnect is forcing the users to create an administrator and manage users from there. Here is the screenshot where you enroll the fingerprint. Unlike BioStar, they capture three templates per finger. They claim that this is to capture more fingerprint data and create a higher quality enrollment. But, that, but the downside is that they do not support fingerprint template comparison matching in between each capture. So what it means is you can actually put three different fingers while scanning one finger, but just to make sure that they should not do that.
this is just the monitoring part where they gather all the log events such as like devices logs and template updates and reader and moment and etc. You can sort them by date by date or by event types and by users or by devices. You can export them to this you can export them to the files. And it, there should be a text file. Since by connect they are based on the server matching, and that's why all the devices are connected as a server mod. And what it means is you don't need to transfer users into our devices. However, just in case of a device offline, by connect they send all the users to devices at 3 in the morning, 3 a.m. every night automatically. And you can, if you want, you can manually send the users to devices as well. But this is only for the case where the, the devices would lost, lose communication with BioConnect software. Just the exact batch number here, it forces you to put, ex uh, yeah, it's not really an important, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a, a feature where you need to put the user ID, the exact user ID into the system before you hit the search. So if this is not selected, then the user ID with similar digit will show up as, as you're typing, so like, for example, if you're typing one two three four and one two, th and you get one two three four five six, and both the users that are affiliated with those profile will appear in the drop down drop down box in the quick enrollment area. But if you click it, then you have to enter the full user ID to search. This is just the license part. If you remember, you can connect maximum one device with free trial versions. If you want to connect more than one device, you can purchase license from us. For more information about the license, you can contact our sales team. And there are four different services that must be running for the BioConnect. From the service manager, you can simply check its status, whether it's running or not stopped, and have the control to stop it or start services again. All these services are to, bala to balance the load of the devices and the user synchronization. And yeah, in some small setup environment, this is not really an important, but in the large systems, um, the system could be really slow, but because they are using four different services to balance to balance the load, or it should uh, the BioConnect is actually working for a um, large organization too. And there are five different connections for the BioConnect as well. As you can see, it's status disconnected or connected. You can actually test the connection, and if the status is disconnected you can then troubleshoot why it why it's disconnected and reconnect it again and they also do support um, database backup and you can just simply click this button to back up the bio bioconnect database right so this is going to be a very short video demo video and it's just about one minute video it, uh, this is this video is integrating between net2 and bioconnect right so on your left here is the net2 software on your right we have a bioconnect as you can see there are four users david cindy michael kate and at the same time, you see the same users on the BioConnect side, Michael, David, Kate, Cindy. 
and I am just going to add a one more user from the pack the access control software which is team just going to put team Lee and this token number will be working as a card number add user I see team Lee just added on the access control system if I hit the sync button I can see the team Lee is just added on the user enrollment now I'm going to select team and add a fingerprint I just scanned three times the same fingerprint uh, let me show you the video again I I just placed my fingerprint and it access granted the user ID the card ID was just passed to let's go back access granted you see the green here and the user ID was just passed to the control panel and if I go into the monitoring I see identify success with Tim Lee that I have just connected uh, that I have just enrolled on the access control side you see the Tim Lee was just access granted and checked in so this is just the main integration when you are using BioConnect and I was going to actually do a demonstration but sorry because I couldn't do it I just um, video clipped it so I'll just give you an, a brief introduction of how the integration between Net2 and BioConnect was done as you've just seen in the video as soon as I present my fingerprint on the reader, the door opens. And this can be done through BioConnect and BioConnect Net2 and BioConnect. They use a token. They use what's called a token for the user credentials. The BioConnect view all the tokens at card credential for each user. So if you remember back in, in Paxton, I enrolled, uh, I added the new user, Tim Lee. And I added five 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 for the pack for the token number, and that where BioConnect uses as a card credential, and this is stored in the card credential tab of the BioConnect, and then the BioConnect will interpret the fingerprint. and it will say access granted for Tim Lee and then it will send the token number through the weekend it's not sending the fingerprint template it's sending the token number through the weekend to the control panel and then the Paxton will get the token number and say access granted or access denied and this was just an um, example between the Paxton and BioConnect other access control system do work in the same way but it, it's just they have it's just they have um, different name for the card numbers for like Paxton they use token Linnell they use a different term but this is just a basic between integration between Paxton and BioConnect and how the BioConnect are using I would like to get some questions if you do have any I have a question from Mo sorry if I am um, name your ne wrong can we have a presentation after yes I'm just gonna send you the presentation uh, I have just forgot to video record my session but I'll see if I can re video <laughs> it myself tomorrow and then hopefully I can send you the PowerPoint slides and the video together um, a question from does BioConnect integrate Sprima devices also with TNA software no this is just a simple user based access control based integration so what it does is it, it actually um, integrate between access control system and BioConnect 
there's no TNA involved here. Uh, sorry, there's a long question, so I'm just reading it. Um, but as you have to keep access control software as well as so to use to register user to use to update parameter, for example. Yeah, so there's a question from Juan. Customers are complaining because that you have to keep access control software and BioConnect software as well. So use access control software to register user and use BioConnect software to update use user biometric info. Yes, that's correct. So what you need you need to have both software. The access control software and BioConnect software. You add user from access control software and then you add the fingerprint face from the BioConnect software. So that so your understanding is right. You should have both software running at the same time. Question: Can we have the same device connected to both BioConnect and BioStar 2? No, there is only one connection that can be made. A question from Sebastian: Can you add a user? From BioConnect and Sync to Net2? No, you have. To, uh, actually, I have to check that, but I don't think that's possible. I, th I think it's only one way synchronization. A question from BioConnect Integrate Axis A1001. I am not exactly sure about the exact versions that BioConnect supports. Um, if you're talking about the soft device side, I am not sure, but I can see that BioConnect we support access with embedded controller software. Question from Chris: Integration with Linel it says it requires data conduit. Yes, do we need to purchase it if we need if we add BioConnect to existing system? Is uh, yes, yes, yes. You need to buy. You need to purchase these all these requirements from the manuf manufacturer side if you want to use the BioConnect. Same for Genetech. Yes, it requires SDK, and you need to purchase this SDK version 5.3 from the Genetech side. Otherwise, the synchronization won't happen. Version two devices are supported. Yes. Yes, they are supported. Uh, will a license work for new devices released in the future? I'm not exactly sure what it means, but you need to uh, you can contact our sales team for more information regarding the license. Uh, no, this is just a screen capture of some of the access control system. Uh, I can send you the full list of integration and versions that BioConnect supports. I can send it to you later after, maybe hopefully I can send it to you on Monday. There, there should be more versions, there should be more integration options other than what's listed on this screen capture here. A question from Ms. Lim, does it that mean the worst case would be to pay two licenses where one from Access Control and the other from BioConnect? Uh, unfortunately, yes. In order to use BioConnect, you need to uh, purchase the license. And in order to use the um, this Access Control software, you may have to purchase their license. But I am not sure about their license policy 
For example, Pakistan doesn't really require you to buy a license if you have the controller. But I'm not sure about the other system. But I'm sure the Genetech, they, they will ask you to purchase the license. Yes, um, yes, um, BioConnect does support template on card, yes. Alright, if you don't have any more questions, I would like to conclude my presentation. Yes, Ryan, yes, BioConnect support temporary on card. BioConnect support TOC. BioConnect does support TOC. Uh, question, um, define temporary on card layout from the BioConnect. No, you have to set it from the BioStar and then connect it to BioConnect. Right, guys, if you have more questions, you can reply to me. I'm going to send you an email tomorrow. And... The more questions, the more happy I am. That means you're interested in, in our software, so. Yes, BioConnect is developed using our SDK, yes. Our, one of our partner developed it using the SDK. Right, thank you everybody for joining me today. And I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.